Oh no, you don't. You think you can come to my city. You think you can come to my capital grounds, pull a fucking false flag on my land and try and take my rights away from me? Take it away from my citizens? Take it away from my fellow countrymen. This is what you're gonna try and do? We're gonna rip this apart. We are not done. No, we are not returning to normal. This is bullshit and we are going to expose this false flag. Someone deserves to be hung for this. This is the Auto Expositor. Yes, hello everyone. This is Justin from the Auto Expositor. Welcome back. I apologize for the time that I've been out. It uh, has nothing to do with not wanting to do any videos. It's just that I've been far too busy. But right now, we can't really talk about that that much because this is just too important. And uh, I don't have all that much time, but I'll try my best to go through what I've seen. Uh, I want to commend uh, Free Radio Revolution, PK22, uh, everybody who's been covering this. Uh, thank you um, for taking a look. I know I should be here more often for it, but uh, I guess let's get into it. Um, this is an absolute travesty what's going on. I don't know if it's a real person dead. I, I've been talking to someone that uh, has pretty close connections in with the military and they say that uh, this is a real person with a real death. That doesn't mean anything because you know what? False flags, guess what? They put down two towers in New York, what, 15, 14 years ago, whatever. I mean, they will do anything to gain power. It's not money, it's power, okay? And what's going on right now when I'm looking at the news, all I see, the mainstream media, is what they're talking about, well, you couldn't arrest him for having a rad uh, radical thoughts, okay? That's what they're plugging in here. Guys, you have to wake up, okay? Anybody who's out there that's listening that is not used to looking at these things, you have to wake up, okay? They are taking our rights away from us. And here's, I actually left Ottawa, okay? I left a couple months ago. And the reason being for that was that I knew something was going to go down really hard, okay? And I wasn't quite sure what it was, and I just needed to get my, my butt out of there, okay? And I think I found out the reason why. Okay, so let me tell you something from, you know, an insider's perspective about Ottawa. Okay, first, let's go to that picture. Um, the one that was uh, supposedly taken at 9.30, a half an hour before the event took place. If this is the case, okay, those cars there, I think it was about eight, uh, somewhere around there, I don't have it right in front of me right now. I used to go to Parliament Hill at least once a week, okay? And I'm going to show you this video. It's actually one of the first videos I've ever put up on my channel before I got into the truth movement and actually doing videos on it. And this is a 420, okay, the, 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 the pot smoking day in Canada or wherever. Um, and as you can see here, there weren't even that many cops at that point as there were. Normally, there are two squad cars, okay? Not squad vans, squad cars, not trucks, not anything at all. It's two squad cars. They are meant, uh, the police there that are hired as the post are more like tour guides, Okay, they're, they're meant to give you information. Okay, they're not meant to look like they have any presence. Okay, it's not like the rest of Ottawa. They, they make it very welcoming there. They are very, very nice. They are selected because they are very, very nice. Okay, to have that much presence there, I've never, ever seen that many cars there in my life. Okay, I've never seen it. Okay, and I was there every single, pretty much every single week that I lived there. Okay. Another thing as well, this is really big, so please listen up, okay? Almost a year ago, the staffers in the parliament building, the people who are not elected but hired, they were forced to sign confidentiality agreements of everything that goes on within those buildings, okay? I don't know how big it was outside of Ottawa, but this was a big debate that happened and it was very popular on the radio to talk about it because there was something odd with it. And because Ottawa is so asleep, and I'll get into that in one moment, but they are so asleep, it didn't really uh, resound any type of protest towards that or anything like that, okay? Um, but 
the fact of the matter is there must have been a reason for why they were signing this agreement. And this was one of the reasons why I left because I thought something huge was going to happen to the point where it could have been like a massive explosion or, or something like that. But this, I am near positive that this is the event that I thought was going to happen when I left. Okay, now this confidentiality agreement stops people from being able to talk. They will lose their career if they talk about their day at work. Okay, these are people that are receiving our tax dollars. They work with our tax dollars. And the people who we elect pass this law so that they can't speak about something. Now I wonder what that something is. Could it possibly be about this false flag. Take a look at the video when you have those, um, I believe it was an InfoWars one, but the Vigilant Christian did a video on it. A very good video. Same thing with uh, Free Radio Revolution. When you're in this type of mode, I mean, okay, I'm sure exhilaration is a factor, okay? But they looked well over dramatic. You know, every single video angle is over dramatic. It's meant to look like a show. But wait, once there's a camera that's not the mainstream media or they think they're not on camera, you catch them laughing? When you just lost a fall, you just had a fallen soldier, you're laughing? Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe that for one second. Not one second. This is absolute bull. Okay, I'm trying not to swear so much, but. I almost don't know what to say. People, you have, for those that are not awake yet, they're trying to take your rights away from you. They're trying to make radical thoughts illegal. What I'm saying right now will become illegal. There are people who are designing this that need to be hung. We need to find out exactly what's going on here and who is behind this. And they need to be put in jail or whatever it is that is lawfully able to say before I get my butt arrested. <laughs> this is unbelievable. I, I commend everybody who's been looking at this, but this is one of the most important things that is ever going to happen because this is the breaking the border between you being somewhat of a free Canadian, not that we ever were, because we are owned by the Queen. I don't know if everybody knows that, but we are subjects of the Queen. We are not free, we are not strong and free. We're not Ottawa strong, we're Ottawa senseless. Okay, everybody is behind this completely, be behind the motives and behind what they're trying, the solution that they're trying to give you. When I'm talking to people in Ottawa, here's the thing about Ottawans, okay? It's a huge public service place, okay? So many people are hired by our federal government in Ottawa. If they speak about things they could possibly lose their job. I moved to Ottawa from Newfoundland, okay? It's another province just east. And I moved there because I wanted to get more political. I wanted to have more political conversation. But I found out that it's the exact opposite there. That people, not only do they not want to talk about it, it's not just that like, you know, they've been, they come home from work and they're sick of talk about, talking about politics. They are afraid to talk about this stuff. Okay, you can see it in their eyes. I've heard it from native people who've been living there their whole life. They don't want to talk about it. They have too many friends and family and they don't want to be associated with anti-government or uh, being criti uh, criticizing of um, or uh, critiquing the government in general. Okay, it's a very, it's taboo in Ottawa. You don't talk about politics, which is an absolute travesty. It's disgusting. Okay, the other thing I want to talk about right now, I'm in Quebec, okay? And these people, why is it English Canada that when I speak with French people or just someone, anyone, it doesn't have to be French, it doesn't have to be, it could just be anybody outside those five fucking countries, six if you include Israel, okay? Those six countries, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, US and Israel, they, everybody outside of there, when I bring stuff up like this, they immediately believe me. The people outside of those countries, they know. They understand. They just don't know what to do, okay? We're the ones that are supposed to be the free ones and helping out liberty itself. We are supposed to be the ones carrying that torch, and we are not. Not only are we dropping it, there's many of us 
in Canada and, and the other countries that are intentionally bar burying it. And whether that's mind control or not, it, it's not important. I need you guys to realize how important it is to wake up from this. Because if not, we are going to become just like every other page in history of people who have been slaughtered if they speak out against their rulers, okay? Because that's who we're dealing with now is people who think that they are higher than us. They are our rulers, that they can just kill. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but they, they, they can just kill a soldier so that they can get what they want. This is unacceptable, beyond unacceptable, okay? I want to once again drive again two points. Never in my life have I ever seen so many police cars in that corner. If that picture is indeed taken before the event, that is the biggest red flag that I see out of all of them. We need to figure out, we need to verify that this is the picture that was taken beforehand, okay? If so, this is the most irregular thing I've ever seen, okay, in the parliament. The next thing as well is that confidentiality agreement. I'm going to show it up. Uh, I'm going to have some links down below that you can read this, any debate on it, okay? Um, other than that, I will be trying to post as much as possible. I am extremely busy, but I will be spending as much time as I can to cover this and help out because the guys that have been covering it so far, Jeff, PK, Vigilant Christian, uh, many others, I'm sorry if I missed anybody, you've been doing great and thank you so much and I'm so sorry that the auto expositor has not been spending so much time exposing this, but I've had enough of this bull crap. I will be returning, I will be working with everybody, Police State Radio as well, sorry I nearly missed you, we'll be working, we'll all be working together, please guys, take care. This is not Moncton. This is not some little tiny, uh, this is no longer, this is no longer Kansas, okay? This is extremely important. You guys need to take care. You need to speak with each other. Make sure that you're okay from day to day, okay? And I'll be following up as much as possible. Please send me a message. Um, and from there on we go. And we need to work together on this. If not, we are going to lose every right we have. I promise you that. Okay, so we'll talk soon. Thank you so much for listening and stay tuned.